Hello. Welcome to my weekly show, My Top Tips. Every Wednesday, 9.30 a.m. IST. These days, I'm in Abu Dhabi. So I'm doing this little earlier before I move into the field. The world is going through celebrating Business Quantity Awareness Week. This year, BCAW plus R, Business Continuity and Resilience Awareness Week. So my talk today is going to be about that. Little glitch. Let me sort that out first, please. And should be okay now. Great. It happens sometimes. So my top tips today around business quantity awareness plus resilience awareness or during BCAWR period, I'm going to be talking about just three points. A BC pledge. I have taken this. I suggest everyone does. Second point I'll touch upon is what do BC managers do? A big question in my book. I've written a chapter, million dollar question, and has been answered also. Giving you an elevator pitch in the book. I have written some details also. And the last point is how to select BC practitioners. I'm going to read this. As I said, I've taken this myself. It is available. If you want editable copy, please get in touch with me. Freely available to everyone. As a committed member of my organization, I solemnly pledge to uphold the principles of business continuity, resilience, and sustainability in all respects of my work. I recognize that in today's dynamic and interconnected world, Ensuring the continuity of our operations is paramount to our success and our ability to serve our stakeholders effectively. Therefore, I pledge to embrace resilience. I will cultivate a mindset of resilience, both personally and within my team, fostering adaptability, flexibility, and proactive planning to navigate challenges and disruptions effectively. Champion organizational resilience. I will actively contribute to building and maintaining a resilient organizational culture by promoting awareness, providing support, and participating in training and preparedness initiatives. I will always do as directed during crises. Foster sustainability. I will integrate sustainability principles into our business continuity plans, striving to minimize environmental impact, conserve resources, and promote social responsibility in all our operations. Commit to continual improvement. I will continually assess and enhance our business continuity strategies and practices, learning from past experiences, industry good practices, and emerging trends to ensure our readiness for any eventuality. Collaborate for collective resilience. I will collaborate with colleagues, partners, and stakeholders to enhance collective resilience, sharing knowledge, resources, and experience to strengthen our collective ability to withstand and recover from disruptions. Uphold ethical standards. I will adhere to the highest ethical standards in all aspects of business continuity planning and response, prioritizing the well-being of our employees, customers, communities, and the environment. I will not believe in and not spread rumors. 
all media interaction will be through our official spokesperson. Lead by example. I will lead by example, demonstrating a steadfast commitment to business continuity, resilience, and sustainability in my actions, decisions, and interactions within and outside the organization. By pledging to uphold these principles, I affirm my dedication to safeguarding the continuity of our operations, protecting our stakeholders, and contributing to the long-term success and sustainability of my organization. Uh, repeating, this pledge is available for everyone. Editable copy is available. Please ask. You can adapt and use it in your organization. This is a great instrument for raising awareness, getting commitment. By reading this, some capabilities also will go up. So it's for competency enhancement as well. And idea is to paste this on your signature wall and ask your employees to sign on this. Read and sign. Second point today, big question, million dollar question. So what do BC managers do? And here is just an elevator pitch in my book, full chapter devoted to this. Request reading that also. Take pride in yourself. I'm a business quantity manager. I serve my organization to protect and enhance its value. I design and develop a proactive a reasonable and practicable approach to business continuity for my organization. I improve my organization's ability to ensure continuity of the basic minimum. I follow global good practices in the BCM domain. For example, ISO 22301, the global standard for business continuity. I coordinate with other domains, finance, IT, facilities, business units, risk, information, and cybersecurity, etc., to ensure that the business objectives are met. I am respected and admired because I provide assurance to all relevant interested parties. So, this elevator pitch, very useful for you, the VC managers eye-opener to some people told me. The last point for today's talk in my weekly show, my top tips is how to select BC practitioners. So first of all, I'm going to show a job description for business continuity program manager. It may be BCM head. It may be BCM manager for you. I'm just going to read it, but in the recording, it will be available for you once again. And if you wish a copy, get in touch with me. I'm happy to share the copy. The business quantity program manager is responsible for developing, implementing, and managing the company's business quantity program. This role ensures that the organization is prepared to respond effectively to unforeseen events and disruptions that may impact companies' operations. Key responsibilities for this person include develop and maintain a comprehensive business continuity program, taking care of full life cycle, form program, policy, to testing, maintenance, continual improvement. Qualifications, a graduate or a postgraduate person, minimum will be this much. Certifications, mandatory, I would say, business quantity, lead implementer, implementer, CBCI, CBCP, MBCP, etc. Minimum 8 to 10 years of experience in BCM and related domains. Some other skills, strong knowledge of industry, whichever industry is this person going to be working in, excellent project management and organizational skills strong analytical and problem-solving abilities, 
effective communication and leadership skills, and ability to work collaboratively with cross-functional teams. Generally, the BC head is easy to be selected or recruited. The struggle is when we go to BC champions. So that's the next that I want to touch upon. Some guidelines to select a business continuity champion or the coordinator, different terms used in different organizations. The critical expectation from the BC champion is to, during implementation planning phase, enable high quality data collection within expected timelines, ensure internal department alignment and sign-offs. Post-implementation, take ownership for readiness, maintenance and improvement. And in a real situation, be the focal point in to coordinate the successful execution of the BCM activities by the department. Any department that wants to be successful in its BCM efforts should ideally allocate their best person, one of the best person to be the champion, BC champion. Some possible criteria, fairly senior person in the department must understand the complete business of the department. A good understanding of how things work would enable him or her to be able to ask smart questions to help improve or validate the data or answers that others give. Good to have the following, a reasonable understanding of BCM. Of course, we will help enhance this as the project progresses. V means the organization then has to do this. Prior BCM understanding training would be useful, but not necessary. Analytical skills their own judgment on reasonable acceptable timelines based on expectations of interested parties. Risk assessment skills, their own judgment on possible threats that may create downtime. Writing reviewing skills to validate, populate the plan document. Communication skills to guide others in the department about the BCM mandate or steps involved. Interpersonal skills, problem-solving attitude, and commitment to timelines. Must have the will to win, to get the job done, if necessary, by employing creative and innovative approaches, and sometimes even leveraging personal relationships. Testing skills, similar to point B above, a good understanding of processes would enable the coordinators to also focus on and ensure testing and readiness of the right aspects. So these are guidelines for BC coordinator or BC champion. Disaster or crisis management skills, maturity, cool, calm, presence of mind to guide others and be the focal point in a real BCM situation. And the last point I'm saying is coordination skills similar to each above. I also wanted to present a job description for a business quantity champion or business quantity coordinator in an organization. So for this person, responsibilities include under the guidance of the BC manager, do the following for the department or unit. Develop BIA, business impact analysis. Develop RA, risk assessment, contribute to strategies develop business continuity plan, test BC plan, manage incident, resume continuity of, ensure continuity of business, keep the BIA, RA, BC plan, etc. up to date, participate in internal audits, participate in trainings as and when scheduled, provide inputs for continual improvement of the BCMS. If you look at qualifications, experience and skills, must be fairly senior person in the department or unit, must understand the business of the business, at least his or her department or unit's business. Good to have BCM qualifications, training experience in the following, BIA, RA strategies, BC plan, incident management, 
BC test, internal audit, you can add crisis management also. Good to have project program management skills, good communication skills, ability to work in teams and coordination skills. So these were some quick tips on how to select BC practitioners from the BCM head to the BC coordinators and BC champions. If you have any questions about this topic, starting from the pledge to the downloadable job descriptions or anything about resilience as a whole, please feel free to write to me and I'll be happy to respond. This was my weekly show, my top tips. Your host, Daman, Daman Devsu, blogging off now. I hope to see you all once again next Wednesday, 9.30 a.m. IST. Till that, take care. Bye-bye.